We'd been on the trail for about half an hour and stopped raining, so we had to pause here to remove our jackets. The unnamed peak ahead hides the view of Mount Bogart. Two hours after starting out, we reach Ribbon Falls. Soon we'll leave the trail and start up the ascent drainage. Phil scrambles up the right side of the drainage while we follow. However, as Dinah points out, it would have been easier to cross the drainage below and hike up the green slope. When we get to the basin, we notice some sheep grazing. Later on our descent, we found about two dozen of them on the slopes below the summit. Meanwhile, Phil grazes on a sandwich, one of five that he brought along. Lunch is over and we set off for the summit above us. We'll cross the drainage near the bottom and ascend left of it. It's a boring slog, although the views behind us will improve as we climb. Below the cliffs, Phil races ahead. We've never seen him move so fast before. Before we reach the summit, we have to negotiate this chimney. This clip shows Phil down climbing it on our descent after we summited. From the top of the chimney, it's a hike to the summit. Here we are arriving at the top of Mount Bogart, the second highest peak in the Kananaskis range. Yeah. 